Uh, today I am talking about the cost of living and inflation. Uh, so I am just shy of 40 years old. Uh, so I'm at the age now where I can remember prices in decades past and I don't need a textbook to show me what inflation is because I've got the life experience. Um, not that learning about economics is bad. Uh, I did take and passed both uh, micro and macro economics uh, back in the college days. Um, and I'd like to start out by saying uh, this is not a political video really at all. It's just a general observational video to remember what prices were like uh, in my youth relative to now, in 2019, when this video was made. Now, one thing that sticks out in my mind, when I was growing up in Tennessee, uh, this would have been the early 90s, I would have been probably 13, uh, I vividly remember walking into a Taco Bell, and virtually everything on their menu was either 79 cents, 89 cents, or 99 cents. That was their big thing. It was the 79, 89, 99 menu. It was color-coded. I vividly remember this. I don't know why, but I, I just have these memories. Uh, so you could get most items under a buck. And specialty items like a Mexican pizza weren't that far over a dollar. It was like a dollar. I don't remember that price, but I know it was a little bit over a dollar. A beef soft taco would have been 79 cents. A more premium Mexi melt would have been 89 cents. And bigger items like the Burrito Supreme was 99 cents. I do remember that. Now, you have to remember the minimum wage in Tennessee in the early 1990s was only $4.25 U.S. per hour. That's a pretty poor wage. Uh, and when I started to work my first job in the late 90s, my first job, they bumped the minimum wage up to $5.15. And that's what I remember making as a clerk at a gas station for my first uh, real job. So the wages were ultra low down there. Uh, and they still are today, too, mind you. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, a price of a Mexi Melt in 2019, today, here in Ontario, it's $2.39. Um, so that is a price increase of about 300%, or about three times the amount in a 25-year period. And by the way, uh, it is worth mentioning, here in Ontario, our minimum wage in 2019 is $14 uh, Canadian per hour. In Tennessee, those poor people are still getting paid today. In 2019, the minimum wage workers are getting $7.25 US an hour in 2019. Sure, those are starter jobs, but uh, when I was uh, in Tennessee a few months ago visiting family, the Mexi melts at the Taco Bells down there were only $2.19 versus $2.90, I'm sorry, $2.39 here in Ontario. So I think they could afford to pay those workers more down there. I also think this proves that the minimum wage increase here in Ontario is not quite putting the upward pressure on prices as some claimed. Uh, that's not too much of a difference. But anyway, moving on. I vividly remember in 1998 or 99, uh, the price of gasoline bottomed out. One year it was 89 cents per gallon US. Uh, I remember that really well. I was driving a Chevrolet Corsica at the time. Uh, I worked in a gas station. Uh, around that time frame as well. Now, it's hard for me to compare gas prices here in Canada, because I, I wasn't living in Canada at the time, but I did find a nifty Statistics Canada uh, chart, a link, I'll actually put it below if you want to click on it, shows in 1998 the price here in Toronto was 51 cents a liter in 1998. By comparison, today in 2019 it's $1.30 per liter. So, although we are seeing some big shifts, it was 90 cents here uh, a couple of months back, because big oil likes to jack up prices. Um, but $1.30 today for a liter of gas is about 250% higher than the 1998 price at $0.51. Cents. Um, and those are Toronto prices I'm comparing. Uh, the $0.89 cents a gallon was the Tennessee price, I remember, because I was working at a gas station. I remember that era. Uh, however, lots of things go up, uh, but the news isn't all upward. Um, since we've outsourced productions of things like TVs, computers, a lot of that used to be made in North America, now it's made in China and wherever else, uh, a lot of electronics today are dirt cheap compared with 20 years ago. I remember a standard like Acer computer uh, in 1995 uh, with a new Pentium processor, uh, which was top of the line at that time, it would have easily been $2,000. So if you got a printer, it would be over 2000 Today, you can get a top-of-the-line computer with a monitor for well under $1,000. Uh, 
This is true both in the U.S. and Canada alike. The t and TVs, likewise, have gotten very cheap. You used to would spend 200 bucks getting a 19-inch traditional like tube TV in the 90s, whereas today you can get a flat screen 40-inch for like $200 or $300 range. Uh, so yeah, those prices have come down for a much higher quality product. Now, when it comes to phone services, most things have migrated to the cellular world or use internet for calls over data networks. But even here, the prices have generally went down, actually. For example, when I was a kid, again in Tennessee, uh, I remember in the early 90s making some phone calls to my grandparents' place, and it was long distance. Um, now, we're talking about 10, it depends on your phone plan, it was like between 10 and 25 cents per minute, um, depending on your monthly service. Now, we're not talking about truly long distances, by the way. Where I grew up, in this fairly rural area of Tennessee, if you called the next county over, literally just a 10-minute drive away from you, you'd be paying for that call. That was considered long distance. Uh, like intrastate. There were, there were interstate and intrastate. This is intrastate or intra... What's it called? It used to be called intralata long distance. Uh, but yeah, it would be 20, 10 or 20 cents per minute. Local call, calls back then were incredibly local. Like you really were just calling up the street from your, uh, like in the community, the immediate community you were in. And just think, at 20 cents a minute, calling your grandma for 30 minutes would be six bucks just for that call, that one call. And if you use data, uh, a data modem, uh, to call over that same phone line back in the 90s, you'd pay uh, the same long distance price for calls outside your very localized calling area. And I did run into some problems and made my dad and mom not too happy with me over that But back in the day, but that was a learning curve. Uh, maybe I was just unlucky to grow up in an area with ultra-localized calling areas. I don't know, but that's what I remember. Uh, today, in 2019, I literally just, in the past month, I got a lucky mobile SIM card and switched my service. I now get unlimited nationwide calling all across Canada. I get unlimited texting and a gigabyte of data, and I'm paying 25 bucks a month. And that's Canadian for my phone services, and that's all I need. <laughs> so the price of telephony has actually went down dramatically, actually. Um, uh, although I do have uh, to have to buy a separate internet connection because data is important today. That wasn't a big thing in the mid-90s. That cost me about 40 bucks a month. So even if we include data which really wasn't a thing in the 90s when, since you used a phone modem, I'm still only at about $70 per month in costs today in 2019 versus the 1990s, when I clearly remember my parents would easily get a phone bill of 100 bucks, And that's in U.S. prices. But still, that's uh, with inflation, that would have been closer to $200 uh, value. So actually, telecom prices are actually kind of down. Uh, if you cut the cord and don't pay for cable TV, you're in a better financial position today on those services in 2019 than we were in 1995. So that's just a few things I remember about inflationary pressures over the years and prices. Um, I didn't even begin to go into housing and rent prices because we'd probably be here for hours if I did that. But I do thank you for watching.